Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to control what screen shows up in View Studio or on the Panel View Plus based on the value of a tag inside a PLC. And the first thing we need to do here is go to Global Connections and I'll open that up. And then under Display, we're going to set a tag equal to remote display number. So let's go browse for a tag. I'm in my emulator, which I showed you how to set up in the last video. And here I'm going to choose N70. Okay, that's good. All right, the next thing I need to make sure is that my screens have unique display numbers. So let's go ahead and go into display settings. You can see this display number is a 1. And you can see this display number is 99. Excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our project and see how this works. Okay, here we can see our project running and I can go to the main screen or go to the logo screen. I have full control here inside my project, but that is because N70 is a zero. If it's a non-zero value, it's going to force the runtime to go to that screen. So let me put a one in there to force it to the main menu. And then I'll put a 99 in there to force it back to the logo screen. And then if I put a value that doesn't equal any screen, I'll get an error. Let's go ahead and put in 50. And yep, you can see here, invalid display number. That ain't going to work. And the other thing to note is if that's not a zero, I cannot change screens on the runtime or on the HMI. So not until I ch change that back to a zero will I be able to go back to having control on my HMI. And that's how you control which screen is displayed in your View Studio application or in your Piano View Plus. And with that, that's the end of this video. Now, if you'd like to get a copy of this video or a copy of the project I just built, then head over to theautomationexchange.com where you can pick up either for a $1 donation or you can get $3 worth of free downloads every month with a $1 monthly pledge at patreon.com forward slash automation. And if you would just like to learn everything you need to know to program a panel view plus with a view studio, then check out my training course over at the automation school. It's called PVP basics for panel view plus basics. And you'll learn everything you need to know the program, the panel view plus. And with that, that's the end of this video until next time. Peace.